for those of you who may not know me, I'm Sushant Patil, uh, working as a senior <coughs> associate project at Combination Soft Vision. I work on uh, UI and API automation testing tools uh, that uses Java or a JavaScript programming language. And I'm really excited to talk about today uh, on Cypress JavaScript and to end uh, testing framework. I would encourage everyone to share their questions uh, in a chat window so I can answer them accordingly. Uh, without much wasting uh, uh, <clears throat> the time, let's get started. Now, let's see what is there in the agenda. So as part of our agenda, we have several points uh, like introduction to Cypress, or what is Cypress, uh, how it differs in terms of its architecture, what are the browsers support and OS support, and what are the levels of testing that we can perform using the Cypress. And then it's cool features, which are unique uh, when, when uh, comparing with the non-Cypress uh, automation tools. Uh, then uh, Cypress NPM trend, since it's a NPM model, uh, let's see uh, what is the trend uh, in the last two years. And then uh, installing and getting started with Cypress, that is nothing but uh, the prerequisites required to start with the Cypress. Then we'll understand uh, the sample spec file, nothing but uh, the test case. And then common commands that Cypress provides and assertions and configurations that we can set using Cypress and a project structure in terms of uh, the files or the folders for BDD or non-BDD framework. And then uh, we can discuss about the uh, limitation and uh, advantages of Cypress. And all these uh, points will be covered as part of the demo at the last. So move on to next slide. Uh, yeah, we need to understand what is Cypress. The Cypress is an open source, uh, next generation front end automation testing tool built for modern web applications. Basically, these applications are built on top of uh, React JS or Angular JS based applications. And uh, if we want to talk about uh, the Cypress architecture, the Cypress engine directly operates uh, inside the browser. Uh, it enables Cypress to listen and modify the browser at runtime uh, by manipulating a DOM and altering a network request and response on the flight. That means we are going to mock the network uh, request, API request or responses according to our requirements using the inbuilt methods that Cypress provided. Whereas in uh, non-Cypress uh, automation tools where we operate by running outside of the browser and executing all the remote commands across the network. So what is advantages uh, of running the Cypress engine uh, operates inside the browser? We'll come to know uh, in the further slides. So then Cypress can be used for all sorts of development activities, uh, which are happening parallel to the testing activities as it gives a platform where debugging is fast and code maintainability is easy. So, uh, and the, what are the operating system that uh, the Cypress supports uh, are like Mac OS 10.9 and above, and 60 bit only and Linux, um, then Windows 7 and double. And the browser support, basically uh, the Cypress provides provide support for all Chromium based browsers because uh, Cypress and the uh, modern based applications which are built basically follows the Chromium architecture in build. So along with the Chromium browser support, it also supports for uh, Electron. Electron is a default browser. If we don't specify any browsers in the command line interface or uh, there are multiple ways to run. I will. We can go ahead. Uh, we can. We can uh, learn them uh, in the down the down the slides. So, the Electron is the default browser, and Chromium, Mozilla, Firefox, and Electron Edge are the other browsers uh, that Cypress supports. And Cypress uh, fit to do uh, unit uh, functional and integration end-to-end -end testing. So, with Cypress, we can achieve all the levels of testing. I would say. So let's focus on uh, uh, how we, uh, the Cypress and the non-Cypress uh, <clears throat> setup is uh, setup is available in the current mock. So before Cypress, uh, in order to design our end-to-end -end test cases and drive our uh, those test cases execution, 
we wanted to have a framework where uh, the common uh, library is required to uh, have all the components that are required that is achieved with the cypress whereas before cypress we had to choose an assertion library like chai, chai sinon chai jquery expectjs and we have to choose a framework called a unit framework to sequentially run your test cases like <clears throat> ocha jasmine unit karma where we wanted where we need to specify them explicitly in the uh, package.json uh, file and we wanted to choose a selenium wrap wrappers uh, like web drivers and uh, protractor night watch there are several uh, wrappers we wanted to have uh, before cypress and additionally like uh, if we want to trigger the reporting all those libraries uh, third party libraries are consumed by uh, non cypress uh, <coughs> Uh, tools before the Cypress come to picture. Now with Cypress, what we have is all in one testing framework, the assertion library with mocking and stubbing all without Selenium. This is important uh, that we are doing it without a Selenium. The web driver, remote web driver, or uh, any driver like driver specific to browsers are not required at all in Cypress. So now we'll see uh, the, the Cypress cool features. So basically these uh, features are uh, addressed, I mean, these features are going to address the painful areas uh, that testing professionals faced uh, while working on other automation test tools. Uh, hence, by far uh, the fastest growing cross browser, front end developer friendly test automation framework that Cypress is. So when I say this is uh, the JavaScript, uh, sub JavaScript end-to-end -end JavaScript uh, automation tool, the immediately the, uh, the the question arises on how do we handle the synchronous uh, asynchronous calls. So Cypress developers has had provided the commands which are uh, built in built uh, wrappers to wait the mechanisms without using any uh, promise or uh, waits uh, explicitly and hence uh, uh, automatically waits for commands and assertions before moving on. And uh, every tool should support uh, uh, the evidences handling mechanism. So here Cypress by automatically uh, provides a screen viewing the screenshot mechanism and videos uh, of entire test suit when run from the command line interface. And for manually also we can capture uh, the screenshot and with the uh, so Cypress has provided one method called the side of screenshot method. And then comes uh, how uh, debugging is uh, easy in uh, Cypress. It takes a snapshot as test, your test run. Uh, we can pour over each command in the command log to accurately see what happened at each step. So this is basically this command log can be viewed in one of the main components called uh, test runner. And that we can see it in the demo. Uh, this command log provides a line by line uh, interaction that happened through Cypress on a browser at every step. So at which step uh, that uh, application under test is going wrong or the script is going wrong, it can be easily identified. And since uh, we discussed about architectural design, how it differs from uh, uh, other automation tools, test tools. So since it's running inside, inside the browser, it delivers fast, consistent, and reliable test execution compared to other tools. Coming to uh, the one of the unique, unique feature called uh, uh, mocking the request or response. Uh, so it, it has the capability to test the uh, edge cases that we are not able to test in uh, other end-to-end uh, -end automation tools. Then coming to uh, one of the uh, cloud uh, paid offerings called Cypress Dashboard Service. Uh, this is one more component that Cypress has provided. Uh, and it, it has a limited offerings uh, as, as free and very handy and useful when you are running your test Cypress test cases Cypress in a CI environment. Basically, it uh, provides uh, useful test execution information to the GitHub. Uh, and on the GitHub, it, we can see the checks on that on what commit or what or what changes the test cases are passed or failed. And additionally, it, as I said, uh, one more component that is test runner uh, through which we can run the test cases directly 
from Cypress layer. No need not, no need not to remo remember uh, the <coughs> terminal commands every time. Move on to next slide. Yes, NPM trends. So Cypress is an NPM module or a package, you can say, that comes as a known package model. So since uh, two years, uh, if you see this graph, um, in the year of 2020, there were around 500K uh, downloads happened. Uh, now in 2021, it, it reached to 2,000K downloads as per the stats uh, in the NPM trends. So that means it is growing rapidly uh, in the current market. And also I would say this is going to lead in, in, in the future year since uh, the, the Angular developers mentioned that they are going to stop uh, by, by end of 2022, the protractor, which uh, is another JavaScript based end to end automation tool. So definitely all those projects will, most of them projects definitely goes uh, to migration with Cypress. Next comes with uh, installing and getting started with Cypress. So what we required uh, in our local to start with and start uh, the uh, Cypress project from the scratch. Uh, initially, as I said, it's Node.js uh, package and it, it supports on uh, 12 or 4 and above versions. Uh, also bundles with jQuery and inherits many of the jQuery methods for UI component identification, event handling, and CSS uh, and AJAX calls handling. So basically, uh, as we have a Cypress commands, uh, we can also get the jQuery methods and events to drive the, uh, the different scenario across the application and the test. So we need a Visual Studio code that is editor and through a single line of uh, command that is npm install Cypress, we can install the Cypress and uh, to maintain all the metadata and related dependencies of the project in package JSON file. Then the, the Docker image. So uh, all these uh, recent uh, uh, automation tools definitely provide these Docker images like that Cypress also has its Docker image. Uh, we can make use of it if uh, we are having our project uh, set up with the uh, containers and it, it's a uh, basically a node version uh, <clears throat> compatible one if the node version is 14 then the image is available called cypress base uh, 14 one then there are two ways that we can run uh, our uh, cypress test one with ui runner that is as i said test runner that we can launch it using npx cypress open command or node models bin uh, from the path of the node where the cypress ex is present then command line runner. Uh, this is like uh, npx. Uh, if we want to run through the terminal, like uh, where we wanted to specify the browser, that is browser Chrome and xyz.spec.js is a uh, spec file or a test file that we wanted to run using Cypress. Or we can also uh, use uh, Cypress run record key, uh, abc123 parallel in case if you want to uh, do a parallel execution, uh, this uh, particular command will help. Then uh, so let's look at the uh, uh, sample test case. So basically uh, Cypress uh, has inbuilt support for Mocha in its test framework. Uh, also it, it, it's, it, it, it provides the uh, jQuery uh, uh, assertions, Mocha uh, Chai assertions, and uh, which enables us to uh, write the test cases in a very simple manner uh, using a it and a describe block. So let's see here, uh, what is the first line uh, using the Cypress that we can write. That is nothing but uh, site.visit, which visits the URL that we specify. Uh, it, way, it, it actually uh, forces uh, page, lay, uh, page load action to wait until external resources are loaded onto the DOM page. So this automatically waiting happens here with the visit command. Then site.get uh, awesome selector. This is nothing but a CSS locator that we are passing as an argument to the get method. Uh, this waits that in here, the command, this get command also automatically waits for the elementor to element to available on the DOM. And the click method uh, is going to do an action on that element by waiting for 
uh, the default timer timer that is nothing but 4000 milliseconds per second then a side out url uh, nothing but it gets the current url and should is a one of the uh, <coughs> chai assertion callback functions that enables here us to validate the uh, the path of the, I mean, the substring of the URL that we get it from the side of URL function method. So basically, this click and uh, uh, click is a method. A lot of actionable items uh, methods we are going to chain with the Cypress commands everywhere where we used. Next comes with uh, the Cypress default commands and uh, assertions and the configurations. So these are the uh, most commonly used uh, action abilities or commands or configurations that we use while designing the test 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 framework. Uh, let's look at commands we discussed about get and equal is nothing but uh, if we have a multiple elements selected and I wanted to operate on a second or third element, then use the equal met equal method by passing its index. Then within and find our two different methods which are basically chained with the get or contains method in order to limit our scope within the uh, parent of the element that we identified. And then visit we have seen, that is to navigate to the automation of the test application. Uh, then fixtures is one of the important uh, uh, method. Uh, this method is used to provide uh, test data to the uh, test that we are gonna execute. Then in the next comes intercept. Intercept is nothing but uh, it's a method that is used to uh, modify the network request or responses during the runtime. Then like any other tools, uh, the Cypress also provides uh, these action abilities like clicking on the element, double clicking, right clicking, uh, typing and clearing, checking and unchecking. So then comes assertions. So these are uh, built-in libraries uh, for Cypress along with Cypress. Uh, these assertions are available uh, within it. So since um, uh, Cypress is built on top of Mocha, whatever the assertions the, that are supporting Mocha framework, those are, can be used on Cypress as well. Next comes configurations. These configurations uh, of the framework can be set in uh, one of the file called cypress.json. Uh, the configuration like environment variables, the environment uh, variables like if you are running your test cases on pre-prod, prod, or uh, dev environment, QA or staging, different environments will be available. So you can configure all those uh, environment related uh, parameters under the environment uh, object, uh, JSON object within the, uh, within the Cypress.json file. Next comes reporter options. So reporting options are nothing but if we are running, <clears throat> if we are running a non-BDD ones, then we have a more chasm report generation. So those reporting options can be set using this reporting options uh, field. And retries. Retries is nothing but in case of failures of test execution, uh, we wanted to retry them uh, without manual interference. So this retries key can be used at two level. One is open, uh, Cypress open level. One is Cypress run mode. So open, uh, we can discuss what is open and run more later. So default command timeout, as I said, so while retrying, if the element is not found at the first time attempt, then there is a default command timeout configuration that is available in the secret just basin uh, configuration file. So this is set to 4,000 milliseconds by default. And these all configuration can be overridden Override it. We can override them at the time of uh, running uh, at the time of time of running the test case. The page load timeout. Uh, this is, as we know, this is one of the uh, uh, important uh, configuration that every test uh, framework supports. Next, ignore test files in case of Cucumber or BDD. I mean, the non-BDD test cases. If we want to ignore test cases, we can specify those files here and screenshot on a run failure. This is yes or no flag, we can set it as a key. Next, uh, will be Cypress uh, projector structure. Uh, basically, uh, how folders uh, how folders are appearing in the Cypress. So basically, Cy fixtures, integration, support, plugins are the folders that appears as and when you start opening the 
uh, Cypress Press Room. Until that, these folders won't appear in your project hierarchy. So once we run that test, once we able to open the Cypress UI runner, test runner, we'll see the fixtures file uh, folder. What is this fixtures files? As I said, it is a test data is usually written inside the JSON file, which can then be used throughout your tests. So like a test provider, we have it in Selenium. This, this, this provides the same features using the fixtures. Supports file types like JS, HTML, CSV, and text, et cetera. So then comes integration folder. Uh, this folder includes all the test files, basically a spec files. Um, then usually these uh, preferred extensions are .js and features. So if we are having a non-BDD uh, test, then .js file will be used. If it is a <clears throat> cucumber one, dot .features will be used. And also we will have a step of extensions files inside this integration folder. Next comes a support folder. Usually it contains uh, two files. One is index uh, JavaScript file and another is commands a JavaScript file. The commands a JavaScript file basically used to uh, keep the reusable methods like every application has its login module. So that login module can be kept uh, inside uh, the command JS file and that, that which is can be reusable like other Cypress commands. Like if it is a log, if we keep a reusable behavior as a login and then we can use it as a side dot login and then pass the username and password to the parameters and also all the page objects yes the it supports a page object design pattern all the page related files and objects can be placed inside the support folders and one more important file is index.js file is run before every single file like root level hook in the mocha then comes uh, plugins and the plugins uh, enable you to tap into modify or extend the internal behavior of Cypress. Basically what happens, these plugins uh, runs outside the browser, whereas Cypress runs inside the browser. Uh, Node.js treats these plugins as a separate threads and these will be uh, run uh, before starting every spec file. And no, 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 whatever the node model NPM supports uh, plugins are, are available in Cypress. We can make use of them by extending them. And uh, then comes uh, videos and screenshot folder. So we will have a video for each spec file if it is in a run mode. And to capture uh, manually the screenshots, then we use a side or screenshot method. And Cypress captures a screenshot of test failures automatically. And these, uh, uh, by default, uh, <clears throat> uh, actions can be set. Uh, we can override them uh, in the size, in, in the configuration file as well. Then comes with the reports. This reports folder is nothing but for non-BDD framework. And Mocosum is a customized JavaScript testing reporter for Mocha. And along with that, we have a third-party libraries which are comes as default within the Cypress are. Mocha Team City Reporter and Mocha JNIT Reporter. Next, we have a BDD HTML report. This folder can be customizable wherever we uh, want to have in a project structure. So basically, we can uh, Cypress does not support this uh, BDD by default. We need to have a plugin called Cypress uh, Cucumber Processor. Uh, then the, this particular BDD HTML report folder by running one of the JavaScript file, we can create uh, that, that particular combined HTML report for feature files executions. Next comes a package.json. This is a common uh, file for all the JavaScript related projects in the node model. This file holds various meta, uh, metadata relevant to the project used to give information to NPM that allows to identify the project as well as handle the project dependencies. So all the project dependencies and metadata of the project are available within the package.json, uh, like which version of the project um, and what is the name of the project, what is the project ID. Uh, those all keys are available within this package.json file. So coming to <coughs> next slide. So now we have limitations of Cypress. 
and how can we can overcome. So uh, like any other automation tool, Cypress is also have some limitations, but I'll try to give some of the approaches that I follow to overcome these limitations. So because Cypress runs inside the browser, it will never have a multi app support. So just imagine Cypress and we say Cypress runs in, in, in the browser, it never support, right? It never support the multi tab support. Um, in order to sub, in order to make sure our uh, multi tab support, we need to uh, have the jQuery events to be triggered. So there are few jQuery events uh, where we can trigger them and manipulate our scenarios uh, to drive the test cases. Next is each test is limited to only visiting the domains that are determined to be the same origin rule. Yes, the same original rule is, is one of the uh, limitations that every testing tools have. But as we overcome to in Selenium or any other uh, testing tools, we can still go ahead and use the API, uh, API, API uh, hitting through automation scripts while working on other domains and again come back to the same origin. And then multiple browsers open at the same time. So yeah, this uh, is very uh, difficult task in uh, handling uh, Cypress, but we can achieve uh, in Cypress uh, through CI uh, configuration file. Uh, then Cypress does not support mobile testing. Yes, of course. Then uh, Cypress only support JavaScript for creating test cases, and it never support. It won't support any other programming languages. Then Cypress does not support uh, for browsers like Safari and I at the moment. So this is one of the key limitations that we, I, I am not sure how Cypress is going to work on these in futures because Cypress is completely following the different architecture uh, while developing from the Angular developers. Next, uh, advantages of Cypress. So basically uh, what happens, uh, sorry. So as I said, uh, the, the required components in other non-separate non automation tools, we have to install them uh, or bring the as extensions into the framework. But here it is quick, easy setup and execution of tests is also a quick. And it can be integrated with any CI tool, any continuous integration tool can be integrated. So it is good for headless execution. If you won't provide any uh, browser explicitly in the command line interface, so it runs in headless mode on electronic browser. Then automatically reloads a test runner once the changes have been made to the test. So as I said, test runner is another way to run your test cases. This is one of the UI that uh, your component that Cypress provides. So once we made any changes in the source code that automatically reloads the test runner to get those changes and run accordingly. And Cypress also supports uh, large number of plugins, many are available on the NPM repository. One can install and configure and make use of it. So NPM repository is a huge one so that we have enough support uh, for Cypress uh, in order to do, deal with uh, any kind of scenarios. So cross browser testing, yes, it supports uh, multiple browsers, hence uh, the cross browser testing is achieved through uh, Cypress. Uh, works on network layer. Yeah, uh, since uh, Cypress handles and uh, uh, works at uh, directly with network layer of the application. So we can alter the web traffic on the fly and uh, enables to only modify everything coming in and out of the browser, but also change the code that may interfere with the its ability to automate the browser. The, for this, I have an, uh, one uh, beautiful example. I will go through it in the live demo. And Cypress ultimately controls the entire automation process from top to bottom. Okay. Now we'll see the <clears throat> live demo. Okay. So just to look at the left hand side of what we have here. So let me minimize. Now this is a Cypress main folder. Under that we have fixtures, integration plugin, and support folder. So inside this support folder we have in, inside the fixtures folder we have uh, the json files which feeds the test data to the test cases. so here you can see this is an json array uh, where uh, have consisting of multiple json objects 
which can be used uh, on our spec files. And we can also have a single uh, JSON object like this. And then comes with the uh, integration folder, which has Cucumber test, Cucumber test uh, folder. This is Cucumber test I have created inside the integration. And we have a uh, step five definitions files. And, uh, then we have uh, the non-BTD test, which uses uh, which uses uh, page object model design for pattern method. Then we have um, plugins, uh, plugins like index.js. So these are basically the one of the plugins that are I'm using is uh, Cucumber, uh, Cypress Cucumber Processor one. Since Cypress does not support uh, directly uh, the Cucumber uh, <coughs> or a BDD framework, so we have to extend this uh, using uh, this library. Then reports, as you can see here, there are multiple spec files I did run. So all for all these uh, spec files, there is a HTML or a JSON file is generated. So the combined HTML report is also can be generated using the Mocha some reporter options. Then we have screenshot for uh, the failed ones. Then okay. inside uh, just to interrupt, are you showing something because we still see the live demo screen? So. Yeah, I'm showing them. It's still in the live demo PPT screen, so. It's saying, uh, one second. Oh, thanks for informing me. Okay. Can you guys see my editor? No? Black screen. For me, it's saying as yes, sharing your screen. Yeah, Let we me. can see now. Yeah, go ahead. You guys can see now? Black screen? Yes, we can, Shashan. Go ahead. Yeah, thanks. So, sorry, uh, I was not moving. Actually, I was seeing here the screen is sharing, but let's continue. So, these are the four folders that we discussed uh, <clears throat> in one of the slides, like fixtures, which provides uh, the test data in uh, JSON files and uh, the integration folder which will have the cucumber feature files and step definitions file and then uh, in, in also uh, the spec files for tdd or you can say non-bdd uh, test cases and then uh, we have a plugins folder inside plugin fol folders we are using one of the plugin called cypress cucumber processor since cypress does not support directly uh, the cucumber uh, and then the support folder. Support folder has a, a page objects, nothing but uh, the pages of other applications. And we can, can make use of these things on our test script level. And commands.js, this is nothing but uh, the commonly used functions can be treated here as the Cypress default commands. And whenever we want to call this particular, uh, I have created one of the uh, command called uh, login command. So before uh, logging into the application, every time I can make use of this command, like sci.login, then username and password should be passed as a parameters. Then this uh, particular method is called from the command.js. And index.json, these are some of the libraries uh, that uh, if we don't specify at the script level or at any JavaScript file level, uh, the entire framework look at this file if there are any global imports are happened or not. The next we have a cypress.json file. Here, uh, we, as I said, uh, we have a project ID. This is one of the important key. Uh, this project ID uniquely identifies uh, the projects that we define in the uh, Cypress dashboard service. And I will show what is Cypress dash dashboard service in a couple of minutes. And what are the options for Mocha some report options? Like I want to generate a reports inside this folder and need to have a HTML and JSON reports. In environments, uh, this is one of the JSON objects. We can specify multiple environments and video. And if we want to 
if we don't want, we can set it as false, or if we want, we can uh, <coughs> edit it to true in case we need it. Then package.json. This is nothing but the entire metadata of your project and the scripts, uh, what we are going to run from command line interface or through any CI tool. So here we have a metadata like version of your uh, project and description and the dev dependencies, what all dependencies that we require and script. So to run the scripts, we use <coughs> npm run command, then we specify npm run or cypress run. Then we specify the spec file location and then environment. Uh, and we, here we are overriding the environment that we specified in the cypress.json file. So it, this helps to drive our test case through CI2. And then the BDD scenarios, I have these BDD scenarios inside the cucumber.test and uh, folder. And this is going to use a different uh, HTML report than the uh, Mochasum report. The Mochasum report is for only, uh, only for non-BDD ones. So now, Let's see one example in, by running through um, Cypress UI runner. This is a UI runner, test runner, I would say. So here we have, I have logged in as one of the account that I have. This connects to the dashboard service that I set it up for uh, my organization and the one of the project that I created. Mm, and these are the settings. So what are the settings or configuration of everything what we set it in as part of Cypress default uh, uh, project structure, those are displayed here. So here you can see, so browsers, what I set. Okay. And, and everything like screenshots on failure to retries run mode and open mode is on. So these are the things that we have here. And the supporting browsers can be seen inside uh, in this drop down. So it supports for Electron, Chrome, Firefox, Edge. And if we want to run any <clears throat> particular test cases, if you have any number of tests, just go ahead and search. And I will just give, run this uh, spec file here. So here, yeah, see, if we are inside the test runner and it is launching its own uh, browser, Electron browser, since we selected the Electron in the uh, dropdown here. So it, uh, and it also provides, uh, as you can see here, right? Open selector playground. By using this, uh, we can uh, uh, find out the, element locators like CSS uh, on the fly itself. Okay. So now you can see, once it runs everything, it will load all the details here. So the first uh, interaction happened. So as you can see here, so the debug uh, mode, what I see in the command log, right? This is a command log. Let it complete, please. Okay, see here, uh, as you see here, this is this test is failed because uh, it is it, not able to find out the checkboxes. So because of uh, certain issues like uh, timeout or not read a property or a type error. So here, see this is a playground through which we can identify uh, the elements. So in case we want to identify the elements, this is very easy. So we got the CSS selector. So the CSS selectors can be identified using two methods. One is side.contents and side.get. Okay. Um, let me rerun this. Should not fail. Yeah. Okay. 
and let me show one of the uh, thing that I configured through Jenkins as well. Here I'm trying to uh, open my Jenkins board. So I'm starting the Jenkins server. Yeah, no. Can you guys see the screen? Uh, now it, every uh, interaction is identified here and passed. So here, this command log specifies uh, when we have a get A, right? There are 48 matching elements are happened and two scenarios are passed here so no need to have a debug mechanism separately everything can be identified in the command log and the ui application under test can be seen in the at the right side here so let me close this uh, and open the cypress dashboard so as you can see if we click on this it will Navigate to the dashboard. See all runs. So this is one of the service that Cypress provides. It's taking time to load. Let me open in Chrome browser, maybe it's faster. This is the dashboard. Uh, this is my uh, organization ID and this is the project that I did set up and as you can see uh, this is the commit that I performed on the branch called develop and I am not running this through uh, any CI tool this is triggered with the command line uh, command line terminal so we don't see anything here the CI tool information and there are two spec files and three test results so as you can see, there is a send feedback feature scenario. And here we have a two scenarios. Okay. And, and if you see overview, we can see here what are the number of test cases that are passed. And, uh, Let me run through, let me go through uh, Jenkins and we'll show you uh, here. Once we run uh, the test cases from the Jenkins, that particular uh, repository that we have mentioned over there on the command, on, on, on the commit that we made, uh, there is a check available. So on click of this check, we'll see whether the test cases are run and passed on this particular changes before merging into the master. So, <clears throat> Let's see what are checks here. You can see these checks are nothing but these access Cypress dashboard result in your GitHub pull request. So whether they mark these status checks as required to ensure your test cases pass before merging. Mm. 
and let me show you let me show you one of the uh, report so cucumber report here we have a cucumber report Yeah, this is a multiple cucumber HTML report. We generate a single HTML file and JSON file for every feature file, and then we combine them and generate a common HTML reporter. So we had a two feature files. One is login to application, and another is send feedback. So on click of login to application, we see how many scenarios were present. There were two scenarios: one with invalid and one login scenario and how many steps that we performed under that can be seen and similarly there is another uh, feature available so here also everything is passed and in case of uh, much awesome report we get we generate uh, we generate uh, the html report through through jenkins and at Jenkins, once we extract, once we extract, we get a report here as well. This is for non BDD. Sorry. Yeah. This is for uh, non BDD, or you can say TDD. Uh, this is going to give a lot of steps here related to the particular uh, scenario. And it's passed here. It failed because we wanted to intentionally show how the test failures happen uh, when assertions are failed. So here, actually, uh, invalid credentials I have provided and expected is, uh, title is welcome to Mercury Tools, but it is uh, expected is login to Mercury Tools, but it is available with uh, welcome to Mercury Tools. And we can see here all the test cases that we ran as part of this not just some report and yeah and these are the related uh, uh, flags that they are uh, provided we can make use of that by filtering the test cases if we have a huge number of test cases yeah yeah i'm done with uh, this session any questions